For the purposes of sharp, let's talk about what the burr means. And it won't matter if it's a broadhead blade, knife blade, axe, anything you sharpen, the theory is the same thing. You've got a blade that's dull. How do you know it's dull? Well, it won't cut. You've rounded off, you've blunted, you've chipped up, you've nicked the end of the blade. It's no longer sharpened. So you spend a bunch of time sharpening both sides. You got it nice and shiny, but you find that it's still not sharp. Sharp is not a product of stroke count on each side of the blade. It doesn't matter how much time you've spent. The only unit of measure in sharpening is did you achieve a burr? And a burr is achieved by sharpening until you reach the apex of the two sides. And if I'm sharpening on this side of the blade, when I reach the apex, I will roll over a very tiny burr in the metal. That's my signal to know that I've sharpened that side enough. Now I'm going to sharpen on this side. And as I sharpen on this side, the first act is breaking off that burr. And after enough time, you will develop a burr on the other side. When you've achieved two burrs with that grit, whatever grit it happens to be, when you've achieved two burrs, you can stop with that grit. For the sake of argument, let's say this is, this is a 240 grit burr that I've created. The next step is to go to your next finest grit. In my case, I would use 400. Again, continue sharpening until I achieve a 400 grit burr. Sharpen on the other side until I achieve a second 400 grit burr. Stop with 400 grit. Go to the next grit. Develop a burr. Develop a burr on the opposite side. Go to the next grit. And you keep following this until that burr is of a such, such a tiny serration under magnification. The finer the grit, the, the finer the um, serrations will be. I'll sharpen up to three or 4,000 grit. That burr will be incredibly small. When you finish with buffing compound, you will have broken off all burrs and you will be left with a mirror polish at the very apex and that's how you know your blade will be sharp. All right, so here we have a 800 grit burr. As the burr gets smaller, it's harder to see and feel. A lot of guys would stop at 800 grit and call it good enough. It's hard to feel a burr, but again, we'll take our piece of paper. We'll do it on the side we were sharpening first, right? It slides right off. It doesn't run into any brick wall any burr right so now we're going to do it on the side with the burr and you can see the paper actually bends it's running into that very fine burr now that's at 800 grit it's hard to feel you can try to feel it with a fingerprint I'm able to no burr on this side I can clearly feel it on this side but again if you don't have the ability to feel it the piece of paper is an excellent test.
Now that all the burrs have been established, starting with a blank blade unsharpened right off the water jet cutter, zero sharpened, flat edged through all the grits, starting with 240 and establishing a burr. The final step is to get rid of the last burr with buffing compound. That's what this is on a piece of paper. So in that case, I like to use a backward stroke only so I don't cut into the paper or scrape off the buffing compound. Now here you won't be able to feel a burr even with the piece of paper. So I try to do just an even number of stroke counts on both sides. And when I get done here, I will show you what the buffing compound looks like on the paper. How it goes from white to black because we are actually eroding away some of the metal using the buffing compound. The buffing compound is a wax crayon with a super fine powdered abrasive suspended in the wax. When you draw on the paper, cardstock, leather strop, what have you, with the buffing compound, you're really only just depositing the wax, which is the vehicle, to carry the buffing compound. Now I'll show you how it's turning black. That's the metal coming off. Now we will wipe off the blade here and have a look at the finish.